Hey everyone, this video is on dilution. In chemistry, dilution refers to the process of adding a solvent, commonly water, to decrease a solution's concentration. The most important principle you need to understand during dilution is that when we're adding the solvent, the number of moles of the solute that was originally in the solution remains unchanged, regardless of how much solvent or how much water we are adding. Let's say I have a beaker containing an aqueous solution, and this aqueous solution contains 6 moles of a particular solute. If I dilute this solution by adding some arbitrary amount of water, the volume of the solution has increased, depending on how much water I've added, but the number of moles of the solute still remains the same, still remains as 6 moles, the same as before. So we can say that the number of moles before the dilution should be equal to the number of moles after the dilution. Let's put this in a mathematical form. So the number of moles of the solute before the dilution is equal to the moles after. Now, as we know, moles can be calculated by multiplying the concentration by the volume. Specifically, the concentration here should be in molarity or moles per liter, and the volume should be in liters. So then we can get to a new expression of C1 times by V1, which is the original concentration times by the initial volume, equals to C2 times by V2. So the concentration and the volume multiplied for after the dilution. These are equal because they will give you the same number of moles before and after the dilution. Water is added to 100 ml of 0.25 moles per liter of sodium chloride solution until the volume reaches 1.5 liters. Calculate the new concentration of this solution. So let's say I have a beaker. Initially, I have 100 ml of this solution. And in this 100 ml, I've got some amount of sodium chloride. We can calculate this. The moles of the sodium chloride is given by the concentration times by the volume. The concentration is 0.25 moles for every liter, so moles per liter, and we'll multiply by the volume also in liters. So the volume is initially given to us in milliliters, so we need to divide this by 1000 to get to 0.1 liter. So we'll multiply this by 0.1 liter. And this gives the number of moles of 0.025 moles. So before the dilution, in this 100 milliliter solution of sodium chloride, I have exactly 0.025 moles. After adding some water, I've reached a new volume of 1.5 liters. But regardless of how much water I've added, the number of moles of sodium chloride in the speaker should still be the same number, 0.025 moles. So the new concentration is the same number of moles divided by the new volume. The moles is 0.025 and the volume is 1.5 liter. And this gives a concentration of 0.0167 moles per liter, or you can simply write this as molar, capital M. We'll leave the final answer here as three significant figures because out of the, all the numbers we've used in the calculation, the fewest number of significant figures is 3, 0 0.250 and 1.50. How many liters of water needs to be added to 500 milliliter solution of 0.1 molar moles per liter hydrochloric acid to make a 0.01 mole per liter solution? Now, there's two ways of doing this. The first way is again to recognize that this is a standard dilution question doesn't matter how many liters of water we are adding, the moles of the hydrochloric acid should be the same before and after the dilution. So we can use the formula C1V1 equals to C2V2. The moles before and after are equal. The concentration in the beginning is 0.1 mole per liter and the volume is 0.5 liters. Again, if we are using the concentration in moles per liter, it's very important to convert the volume from milliliters into liters by dividing by 1000. So this will give us 0.5 liter. The new concentration after dilution is 0.01 mole per liter and the volume V2 is what we're trying to find. So V2 equals 5.0 liters. This is the final volume. We have to be very careful because the question is asking how many liters of water needs to be added 5 liters here is my final volume that I want to achieve, not the volume I'm adding. 
in the beginning, I have already got 500 milliliter of the solution. So to get to five liters, I only need to add five minus 0 0.5, which is equal to 4.5 liters. And we'll leave this answer in two significant figures. Another way you can approach this dilution question is to recognize that the original and the dilutive concentrations are different by a factor of 10. So the concentration is 10 times smaller than the original concentration. To achieve this during dilution, if we want our concentration to decrease by 10 times, we want the volume to increase by 10 times because the two are inversely proportional. So from doing this, we already know that we want to increase the original volume of 500 milliliters by 10 times. So we'll get 5,000 milliliters, which is equal to 5 liter. And that's how we can arrive at the same answer of V2 equals to 5.0 liter. 200 milliliters of water is added to 30 milliliters of a copper sulfate solution. The final concentration of the solution is 0.12 moles per liter. What is the original concentration of the copper sulfate solution? So this is an example of dilution once again. We are adding water to a solution of copper sulfate. Again, the most important principle is to know that the moles before the dilution is equal to the moles after dilution. N1 equals N2. And N1 is equal to C1 times by V1. N2 is equal to C2 times by V2. C1 is the original concentration, which is what we're trying to find. V1 is the original volume, which is 30 milliliters. I'll convert this into liters by dividing a thousand. So this will give me 0.03 liters. This is equal to the new concentration, which is 0.12, and the new volume as well. The new volume is the amount of water added plus the original volume of the solution. So 0.2 liter plus 0.03 liter. So C1 equals 0.920 moles per liter. I'll leave this answer as three significant figures. Two grams of solid sodium hydroxide is added to 300 milliliters of water. So let's draw this. We have 300 milliliters of a sodium hydroxide solution, so aqueous. 150 milliliters of the solution was transferred to a new beaker and diluted with 250 milliliters of water. So we are taking 150 milliliters of the solution and we are transferring that to a new beaker. And we are further diluting the solution by adding 250 milliliters of water. So we are going to add 250 milliliters of water. What is the final concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution? Now, before we do anything, let's find out how many moles is in 2 grams of sodium hydroxide. Moles is given by the mass divided by the molar mass. 2 grams divided by the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. We can look for the molar masses in this periodic table. For sodium, this is 22.99. For oxygen, this is 16.00. And for hydrogen, this is 1.008. This gives us 0.05 moles of sodium hydroxide. We can take this moles and divide by the original volume, which is here. That's the first beaker. 0.05 divided by the volume of 0.3 liters. And this gives an original concentration of 1.67 moles per liter. Now, this step where we are transferring 150 milliliters of the solution to a new beaker, this step here, it is not dilution. Very important to understand this. We are not diluting this because we are not adding water here. We are only adding water after the transfer into the solution, and we'll get to that step in a moment. So because it's not dilution, the number of moles before and after the transfer would not be equal. So we can't use the dilution formula of C1V1 equals to C2V2. We actually need to find out how many moles is transferred by tiesing the concentration that we just found by the volume of transfer. The volume is of course 150 mils. 
the concentration of the solution is transferred should be exactly equal to the original solution in the beaker here, in number one. Just because we're transferring half of it, it doesn't change the concentration because we're taking just a smaller portion of the same solution. The concentration should be the same. So number of moles transferred will be 0 0.167 times by 0 0.15 liters. And this gives the number of moles of 0 0.025 moles. Now you can see this is exactly half of the moles that we calculated before, which should make sense because I am transferring exactly half the volume as the entire solution in beaker one. And assuming that the solution is made homogeneously, the number of moles transferred should be also half of the original amount. Okay, so now I've transferred 0.025 moles of sodium hydroxide into the new beaker, and I'm diluting this with 250 ml of water. Does this dilution step change the number of moles of sodium hydroxide? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter how much water I'm adding, the number of moles of the sodium hydroxide should remain the same number. So we can easily find the final concentration by dividing the number of moles by the new volume. So this will be 0 0.025 moles divided by the new volume, which is the sum of 250 and 150. So it'll be 0 0.25 plus 0 0.15 liters. This gives a concentration of 0 0.0625 moles per liter. Now let's look at all the numbers we've used in this multi-step calculation. The number with the fewest number of significant figures is 2.00 grams, which is three sig figs. So I'll write this as 3SF. This concludes the video on dilution. Hey everyone, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Want even more? Become a Patreon member for early access to videos, exclusive Discord discussions about questions on chemistry and physics, and live preparation sessions for your exams. Don't forget to head over to our website for topic tests and practice exams to further improve your understanding and learning.